We have had students in this district uh, who when they came to us did not even have the ability to speak but yet they go on to achieve at the state level after many, many hours of teacher and staff and parent involvement with this child. Speech and language therapy, the occupational therapy, he couldn't talk, he had to use sign language in order to communicate with us. He's always taken an interest in um, video, making videos, audio visual at school. I said, you know, Jerry, would you be interested in maybe making a film, letting others see what it's like to have autism as a teenager? And then all of a sudden, it's getting all this attention, and then the next thing we know, it's being screened at South by Southwest. Then the news crews are coming to the school. When we got there um, and to see the 24 finalists from the state, they asked all the directors to come up to the front and stand. If anybody would have seen Jared when he was little, and all of the struggles that we went through with him, to see him now standing on a stage, taking questions, um, being able to talk about autism, I never dreamed in a million years that that's where he would be. You will see what we would describe as maybe an average student um, that, that just exceeds beyond their parents and even maybe their own um, wildest imagination because of an inspiration that they uh, receive from a teacher or a kind word that they receive from a staff member. Maybe it's a smile that they receive from a cafeteria worker or a, a bus driver. You know, all of those things add up to make Sci Fair special and it impacts students over the 13 years that they're with us.